So far, reviewers seem to think the Nexus 6P might be the best Android phone out there, with descriptions like the first premium Nexus phone and the Android phone for everyone. The Nexus 6P is shaping up to be a very popular device. Well, we just had the Nexus 5X on our teardown table and it got a seven out of 10 on our repairability scale. And we wanna know if the 6P can match or better that score. That's why today we're gonna tear it down. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down Google's brand new Nexus 6P. Manufactured by Huawei, the 6P has an anodized aluminum case with a fingerprint sensor right under the camera. The 6P measures in at 159.3 millimeters by 77.8 millimeters. It is 7.3 millimeters thick and weighs in at 178 grams. Getting the 6P open was, to put it bluntly, no fun. There are two panels on the back that hide screws, but one is made of glass. While the first panel came off with the usual amount of heat and prying, the second panel took some time. After several sessions of heat and attempted prying, we pulled out our curved X-Acto knife and somehow were able to pry it off without breaking it. This Nexus is really making us work for this one. With the screws out and the clips along the edges released, we finally get our first look inside the 6P. The rear case seems to only hold the NFC antenna while the rest of the phone comes out as one big piece. Once we disconnected the daughterboard interconnect cables, we set to work on getting the battery itself out. While the battery is easily available, it's glued in place pretty strongly, requiring a lot of prying. This is a 3,450 milliamp hour, 3.82 volt, 13.18 watt hour battery. Next out is the daughterboard, which is home to the USB-C port. The front side of the daughterboard features some control hardware and spring contacts for the LTE antenna, and on the back we spy one of the 6P's noise-canceling microphones and a couple more contacts for the vibrating motor and speaker. Moving right along, we pull out the selfie camera. This 8 megapixel f2.4 camera is up 3 megapixels from its counterpart on the 5X, but still maintains the same 1.4 micron pixel size. On to the motherboard. There's a lot going on on this board and I'm not just talking about chips. First, we get a closer look at the main camera and thankfully it's not soldered to the board, but you do have to remove the motherboard in order to access the camera connector. This is a 12.3 megapixel camera that is capable of 4K video capture at 30 frames per second and has an IR laser assisted autofocus. The next barnacle we remove from the motherboard is the square fingerprint sensor. Turns out the only thing making this fingerprint reader circular is the case hole. Now we can turn our attention to the chips on the board and we find three gigabytes of Micron LP DDR4 RAM layered over the Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 version 2.1, which has a two gigahertz octa-core 64-bit CPU. And right next door to that, we find 32 gigabytes of Samsung made EMMC 5.0 NAND flash. To see the complete list of chips we've identified, head on over to the teardown at ifixit.com. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything, so we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between one and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the most difficult. The Nexus 6P got a two out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, solid external construction improves durability. Once the arduous opening procedure is complete, the battery is immediately accessible. But on the downside, it's very difficult, although not impossible, to open the device without damaging the glass camera cover. Because of the unibody design, this makes every component extremely difficult to replace. The display assembly cannot be replaced without tunneling through the entire phone. This makes one of the most common repairs a damaged screen difficult to accomplish. And finally, tough adhesive holds the rear cover panels and battery in place. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.